Well, good morning everyone. We are in Bonneville and the wind is howling pretty good here. We're at the SO just grabbing gas. And we are going to Wolf Lake. We're gonna do an overnighter. <laughs> and with the wind chill right now, it's 20, minus 25 degrees Celsius. And it's about minus 15, 16 without the wind chill. But that wind, like you can see in the flags, it's it's howling pretty good. We're gonna see, we're gonna try some fishing. Got a tent out there, so see if we die or not. We're on our way to the lake. Do some winter winter camping, ice fishing. Oh, don't There's me. Ed Noel. Oh, he's scared. It's too early. Scared? What do you mean? It's like, let's see. It'll get much any better. It's 8:40. Everything's frosted up. Okay. Oh, I'm doing not too bad. Just waiting for Ed here. He told me to go ahead because I got the all the gear there. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'm just. Uh, hiking down the lake here, going to our spot, and there's a cross there in the middle of the bush. Like somebody passed away here. Obviously they buried something or someone here. And Ed's nowhere to be seen yet. There's the sled with all the gear, all my fishing gear. Lots of gear, love the gear. There's the lake, it's super windy right now. Super windy. You got a marmot sleeping bag. We're setting it up. And uh, <laughs> what's it rated I, for? Minus 40. <laughs> minus 40? I'm just gonna zoom in on the price tag here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if this doesn't work and minus 20, she's going back. Nine hundred and fifty nine ninety nine, but I'm sure he got it on sale oh, yeah. for about seven hundred bucks. Oh yeah, Always that's Canadian. Sale. So to Americans, that's probably I don't know, six hundred bucks or so. Hey. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and I got my I got two sleeping bags. If you go cheap, you got to go more. So I got two a uh, sleeping bag inside of a sleeping bag, and I should be good till minus. Minus 37, not, not minus 40 like Eddie. But we just set up camp here. We're gonna have our fire right here. Just kind of getting organized. There's the tent. I didn't bring and my we... iron. That thing's pretty wrinkly. I should have brought the iron. <laughs> <laughs> there's the lake after we get set up and maybe eat some lunch here, get a fire going. We're gonna Go out and do some uh, fishing to see if we can catch something for dinner. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. We might have to eat our uh, minnow bait. <laughs> now we're gonna make a fire here. Nothing special. Just a little bit of fire starter and a lighter. Yeah. Some coals going. Little fire starters are great. Should go pretty good. There we go, finally. Little fire starters are nice. Oh yeah. That lichen probably burns pretty good too. You're a liking this fire. I'm a liking it all. That's a good fire starter, eh? That bark on it. Yeah. Birch bark is great fire starter. I find gas pretty good too. Yeah, <laughs> gas works just as well. Well, just started fishing here. He 
and I'm in a boat, let's see, about 10 feet of water, and I got a little Swedish jig on with a, a small minnow, just trying to see what's down there, as you can see, you can, the water's nice and clear, and you can see the bottom, see anything coming in, and I'll update you if we get anything for dinner, dinner. I just had a little pike come into the hole, so let's see if I can get him on camera here. There we go. There he goes. I found him over the lake. There he is. Nice little pike. Uh, got a nice fire going here. I did manage to get a couple holes dug with the auger, but the uh, cable froze up. And just because once you get out of these trees here, it's so windy and it's, it's gross out there. It's snowing and blowing so I'm just chilling out yeah before you could see across the lake now you <laughs> and it's just a winter wasteland out there but I did manage to catch one little pike he was of size but I didn't keep him Keep the fire going. <laughs> Can't be without technology. Oh, phone charger. Well, we just cooked some fresh walleye here and we got some elk sausage on the fire and just eating dinner. Fish is actually unbelievable. What the hell is that waiter? Delicious. <laughs> I haven't seen him around for a while. <laughs> no tip for him. Yeah, temperatures are dropping. Just winding up the day with a nice fire. And it's only like six o'clock <laughs> and it feels like it's 10 30 because it's pitch black out there but uh yeah we had a good day wind calmed down a little bit maybe we can get out there fishing tomorrow hey ed for a little bit maybe you can catch something and yeah she's she's pitch black Woo. Beautiful fire. Well, we survived the night. But the wind died down, which is nice. But it, uh, the temperatures dropped. It's still about minus 30, but it's a lot. Minus 30 degrees Celsius, but it's a lot... Uh, <coughs> it's a lot nicer without the wind. That wind chill when it gets going, it's nice and clear. It's gonna be a beautiful day. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get everything packed up and kind of hike out of here and maybe do a little bit of ice fishing by the truck. And uh, that's about it. It does look like we're on an expedition. Okay. There, there's all the gear that I'm bringing. 
That's enough of a break, Todd. It's time to get back to work. <laughs> Mush. Yeah, it's cold. Good boy. Doing a great job there. Could you maybe pick? You're slowing me down. Could you pick it up a little bit? Well, oh, don't take a picture of me. I look, I look terrible. I have oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. It took us a while to uh, get back, but we. Uh, I just turned it down. Just oh, no, I just, uh, just I, I know that video. limit where it stopped laughing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we completed our little winter camping excursion.